Uh, so some statues of Christopher Columbus are being dismounted across the country. So three reports of statues being uh, removed, uh, Richmond, Virginia, Boston, Massachusetts, and at the Minnesota State Capitol. So in Richmond, Virginia, they tore down the statue, vandalized it, whatever that means, and then threw it in a fucking, uh, in a lake. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> People are fed up and... Uh, Boston, they beheaded it. They beheaded a uh, statue, so the city officials had them remove it. And then in Minnesota, uh, that's the one that they just they just took down. Yeah, so, I'm surprised by Boston, though. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I lived in Boston. I was like, hold up, Boston's a pretty racist city. Yeah, and like, if you okay, got Boston. you got racist ass Boston out here fighting, like yeah. <laughs> that should tell you something. I like the I like the because. They got it from Nashville, did it first. Mm. Uh, but I mean, I like it. But at the same time, these are old dead guys. I mean, shit. Can we can we knock over some of these real life fucking racists that's out here making these laws? It's hidden in coops somewhere we don't fucking know. Right. But it is good because, like I said, if you're gonna get rid of the Confederate flag, you might as well get rid of all of this Confederate symbolism that they got all around the country. And that that was basically what I was getting to. So. Even though, like, we have the the right to free assembly, um, you know, you can fly whatever flag you want, which you can't because you try to fly a Nazi flag in America, you might get your head knocked off. Um, but you know, America has these different laws where it's like you you have some sort of freedom. So if you want to represent like some fi- some foul shit, you, you kind of can. But now the tables are turning. To where as though they want to have these these Confederate statues removed, they want to take down the Confederate flags, and people are up in arms. Do you think that that's? I mean, yeah, I know where you stand on it, but like, elaborate on why you think that it would make sense for these Confederate statues and flags to be removed. I mean, it's two different ways you can look at it because. Um... Like you said, the Nazis, like the, the Holocaust didn't last that much longer than the Civil War, but you can't put no Nazi nothing up. You can't even rock the Hitler beard, you know? But why yeah. is it 100 and some odd years, even though Civil War lasted four years, white people all around this country could still post that flag and nothing, you know what I'm saying? What was the, the outrage? They could post that flag up and no one said anything. Yeah. You know? But you, oh God, don't do no Nazi shit. But the other part of me is I kind of liked it because I knew if I rolled past a, a, a bar or a restaurant and I was in the South and I seen that flag, I said, okay, I'm not eating there. Right. Like, yeah, I'm not going there. Like, it was a symbol of, okay, I know what time it is with you in this pickup truck. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just, you because I, I can respect a blatant racist or a blunt racist more than the one. It's the ones that's in the closet that's hiding. Those are the ones you got to worry about because you can't right. date up on you. So I kind of like the flag in a sense, but at the same time, it's like, dude, y'all lost the war, it's over. If not, if Jews, because of Jews, out of respect, we don't put no Nazi shit up, we, y'all shouldn't be putting that shit up either. Out of respect for black for black yeah. people. I agree. Like, like I said, how long, the Holocaust wasn't that much longer than the Civil War, man. Right. And fucking slavery lasted fucking, what, 400? Yeah. Some, 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 some crazy number, hundreds of years. Hundreds of like, years. Then a hundred years of Jim Crow, they was just throwing, you know, watermelon and eggs at you and shit. And we only got what, like, fifty years of fucking civil rights. Yeah, nineteen fifty-five, fifty-four, Brown versus Board, and all of that. Yeah, like, and I mean that—that's still a fight. Like, we're still fighting to this day, and, and we're going to keep fighting and keep fighting. But um, I agree. I do. Um, even though I don't like the stat, uh, the the Confederate flag, I do like to know where I stand with certain people. So that way um, I know how to address you, you know, like I don't, I don't like that. Um, that, uh, what is it? Uh, covert racism. Is that the one where they, I yeah, I don't like that shit. Like, even though I don't like racism, if I know where you stand, I know how to deal with you. Um, that's why when a lot of, yep, exactly. That's why when a lot of white people or, you know, want to have these conversations about what's going on in the world, they kind of want to see my take on it. I'm like, no comment. Like, I have a dude on my route, right? Police officer or retired cop. This motherfucker has Blue Lives Matter all over his goddamn house. He's got the fucking the flag in the yard. 
he's got the fucking painted tape, you know, the blue paint tape that yeah. they cut. Like he got that shit on his uh, storm door and on one of the windows, like into the Blue Lives Matter ribbon. He's got fucking uh, these these two white Cadillacs, and they both got the little fucking. I'm like, you know, like, you know what time it is. Yep, I know exactly what time it is. Go around the country to see how great people. Well, hold think. up, here's the wild thing. This motherfucker gave me fifty dollars for Christmas last year. Oh, that's what's up. So that's why you keep your mouth shut, huh? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, <laughs> hey, look, I don't see nothing. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm, I won't have that conversation with him because I know where he stands. Yeah. But, but like, I won't disrespect him because listen, I know where you stand. There's no, there's no confusion here. Yeah, I'm just glad people are starting to see because a lot of people down here, they, they tend to think New York or upstate, like up north is white people aren't racist. I'm like, yes, the fuck they are. Did you see the guy in, in Nassau County in Long Island or whatever? He was kneeling uh, on a uh, some kind of Black Lives Matter flag. And yeah, was, yeah, yeah. I saw that shit. Yeah. He was the George Floyd death and was telling people, fuck off. And he works for FedEx. FedEx fired him. Good, as they should. First, they said for business. They suspended him first. Let me get that out of the way. Then oh, the yeah. Then a hold of suspension. And then yep. that's when they said, okay, we'll do the right thing now. We tried to play that white power game. 